It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB Fuck Family. Is it Aoife? Or what did you say it was? Aoife. Well, she said Aoife. Now I'm just listening to her. I don't know why I listen to her. <laughs> because I don't think it's Aoife. I think it's I dot F dot A. But there's just no I, no dots. They're imaginary dots. So we're going to go with that. It's I dot F dot A. So I F A. She says Aoife. And I like that the song title's called Faith. Right there already. I'm liking it. And I don't know. Uh, I've never heard of Aoife or IFA. But what I do know is if she's ever seen the 100. <laughs> she reminds me. Uh, well, from the. From the. Picture. Yeah. Okay. Wherever the thumbnail just went. The video. <sighs> yeah, where is it? Right here. She reminds me of Lexa off of the 100, which Lexa is my favorite off of the 100. Well, actually, Octavia is my favorite, but Lexa is cool too. So she reminds me of that, so I wanted to check this out. Thank you, Lost Hate. Are you ready? Yeah. We got max volume. Yes, we, do. <laughs> <laughs> we got max volume. Trust and believe me, I got the fucking spatial going around. Let's get it. Let's go. Kathy is right. Okay, it is. Is there lyrics? He said this when I closed caption. Did he? Yeah. Sorry, Lost Hate. I should have listened to you. And I just said, I like that the song's called Faith. And I'm not saying that because she's screaming, it has any, or growling. I don't know which one this one is. Because it sounds to me like she's growling while screaming the whole time. But, um, that, that has nothing to do with it. But her, <laughs> the, her movements, like, Shit, I hate when people fucking move like that because it reminds me of the grudge. Like, I, I see the grudge when I see the movement. Like, she had that one little part. Uh, you guys will see it. And it always reminds me of the grudge. And it fucking... Uh, I already got to see a grudge every day. Let's go drop way in the shadows. Let me drive for me to say that I won't let my past dictate my fate. Let's go. I was just about to say, I don't even want to pause it because this is about to be my favorite part. I can already feel it. But uh, I wanted to know, is that her singing in the background on that part? Uh, like, I, I, want, I think that's the chorus. But did you, you heard like the background vocals, right? I don't know how good everyone can hear them. I got like the spatial audio right now, so I can hear kind of everything. But uh, there's like background vocals in there. And I can't tell if that's her singing. I think it is. I think it is too. But I like that. That's dope. I like I like how it mixed in there. And then her the message of this is fire. Yeah. I love the message. You guys know I'm not really a screamo fan like that or a growling fan like that, especially when it's the whole song. I kind of usually like the hard screamo for a second and then more like the soft like like I see stars or like um I don't know about Icy Stars now, but back one of their songs, the when what this means to me, I like that type of screamo or the damn uh what's the other one? 
T tears like don't fall, bullet for my Valentine. Yeah. Yeah, I like things like that, like screamo like that. But I love the message of the song and I love the fact that she she's able to portray that. Yeah. While being able to, and it's gotta be hard to growl that whole fucking time. Like I don't understand how people do that and their voice is not done. Yeah. I don't talk as much as I do, and at the end of these yeah. lives my voice is done, and you could do that. There's vocal coaches. I used to watch videos about them. Like, there's, like, a lady that trains, like, a lot of these people that, like, teaches them how to do that. So, I had a friend. His name was Joe. Shout out to you, Joe. But, uh, Joe used to try to scream. He's not a scream. He's not in a band or anything. He used to try to scream. And he used to piss me the F off because he used to always fucking do it out. And we'd be in, like, random putt. Like, we'd be, I'd be out to eat. It'd be, like, a group of friends. And he'd just start fucking screaming in the middle of the restaurant. I'm like, dude, are you serious right now? Like, now everyone's fucking looking at us, like, and so I know all about the, what it, I know about, like, what do you have to do to get there, but it's just, I, I just can't fathom, because to me, yeah. and I was trying to learn how to throat sing. That's you were? Yeah. Oh, I gotta hear that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Yeah. See, I love this part. She's got to be, like, she has to be a talented singer. She is, obviously. No, I say it like that because I'm not, I'm not a singer. So I don't know, like, I, I can only hear, like, I just, I hear singers when they sing. But I'm not actually, a, I'm not studied in singing. So I don't know, like, what's a veteran level compared to, I just know what sounds good and what doesn't sound good to me. But. Like, the way she fucking switched her singing right there when it was like, the right, and she was able to hold that. Oh. She was able to hold that note while after go going from growling and screaming the whole time and then into the soft melody and then be able to switch up her tone and her tone during the soft melody like that at that right part. Like, that's that's got to be, that's got to be hard to do. So how long has she been singing? That's what I want to know. Has she been singing for a very long time? Because it seems like to me she has. Do you have anything to say? You said. Okay. <laughs> this video is fire too. She's got the chain going and she's breaking free. Cause she just fucking, I'm ready to fight. Like right in the middle of that. Like I wasn't, what the hell? I, how can, how can you do that? Like, there's no way she, she sung that at the, at the same time. Like she had to have recorded that screen at a separate time 
than the vocals right there. Because there's no way she just fucking went from that to raw back to that that quick. Yeah, could be. Yeah, could be the case. The, like, the, they do do that a lot with songs. Okay, well, it just blows my mind away because I don't... I, I mean, it, that, could, it could be her doing it, though. I don't have to hear it again. I think it had to be the recording. I'm not trying to take away from her talent, but that is fucking fire if she can do that. And then it go, but but it's like the voice goes back to there's no cracking. Like me, I was trying to sing, uh, oops, I did it again earlier in the shower and my voice was cracking because I was singing, oops, I did it again. I play with your heart and my voice cracked. You know, so how can you go from that to screamo to back or growling to back? And by the way, it, it, I'm going to talk about like the topic of the song afterwards. Like, because I love this whole I love her, like, journey with this and how she's, like, F the past, F what happened before. I'm moving forward from that, and I'm pushing through that, and it's never good to hold on to re it's, it's good to regret, but it's never good to hold on to regret. It's good to regret so you can learn from your mistakes, but it's not good to hold on to regret because then you can get trapped in it, and that's why this video is perfect for the imagery. I, I agree with the whole message. I know this. I know yeah, this. she knows the situation. This is personal for her. Yeah. Like, she, she's down this exact memory lane. So I know she has a lot to say about this. Oh, shit! What do you call this? What is this? This is the bridge, right? Or is the bridge when she starts singing? Like, after her growling uh, that she's done already in the past of the song. Or is this the bridge? What is this? Like the refrain. Like in a song structure layout? Yeah. You said the refrain? Yeah. Okay, if any of you guys know, and she may be right too, I've just never heard the word refrain before come to like a layout. And I know I've asked this question before, but her on this, if this is the bridge, this is fucking phenomenal. I was not expecting that. And I don't know what's going on, but it's like little buck. I'm th if I can, if I can picture what I'm like hearing, it's like little like bubbles. Like think of like bubbles and it's like, like how the beat is going. That's just what's, that, that's the best way I can explain it. That's fire to me. It's like, think of vibrations bouncing off little itty bitty bubbles. And the guitar in the back. It sounds cool. I like it. Well, but I can just say, first off, I'm going to let her talk on this. Well, actually, I'm still going to talk. But 
I don't know if you hear her thoughts because she's been down like this exact road. I mean, I have too, but not, I'm, I'm sure she can relate a lot more. And this is just me assuming, but I assume that part of that has to do with like an ex relationship or, and that, I could be wrong for assuming, but that's just where my mind goes with it. Or like an ex guy in her life or something like that. Because to me, it seemed like it was in the past. Like she, did she feel like she couldn't talk or something? Because that's what I got from it. From, from like the message that she's putting out and where she's like so excited to scream about moving forward, which it's a good thing that she's excited to, to, to scream about moving forward. But the screamo, screamo and growling is supposed to be emotion. And it's supposed to like showcase like emotion when in a song. And I think maybe she felt like like she wasn't heard in the past and now she's like screaming that out. Is that what that's supposed to like? Is that why she chose to scream all those parts? Um, I think she screamed all those parts because it's like her deep like emotions, like the darkness that was like holding her in, like that she was holding in. And then like whenever she was like finding um, that now she's found herself that she was able to be like happier. And then that's when she starts singing. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And I am happy she found herself and is free, like trying to do her own thing now. That's the hard thing to do sometimes for people. Yeah, how did it go for you? I mean, it's not going to be all glamorous all the time, but I'm saying has your life gotten better from the point you were at? Yes. Like when you looked forward or has it gotten worse? You could be honest. If it's gotten it's worse, better. you could tell me right now it's gotten worse. <laughs> no, it's That's fine. It's so, a lot better. But that, it just takes, like, once you reach that state, like, to come to that point to, like, decide to take charge of your own life and to let go of all the bullshit and, like, just realize that you don't, you're not stuck in that shit situation, basically. Yeah. Okay. That you can be, like, a better person. It, yeah. See, and I, I mean, I can relate with this in a little sense. But I mean, I feel like everyone's here. It's it's also not just about a relationship, though. like because like in person, you can be like feeling like like held down in life and just in general, and like finding yourself is a hard thing for people to do. Well, like, and like finding yourself is like a whole different thing because like she has faith in herself and like she said that she's had broken the chains. So like the chains are more than just like being chained down. Like it's yeah, almost, like uh, like you're some metaphor for. It's a like, metaphor for just feeling like you she don't felt like she couldn't do much herself. Like she's just breaking free of it all. And probably that things are she probably got a lot of ideas or a lot of something going on that she wants to do or focus on or whatever, but just feels like she she's like stuck in deja vu in the same space in her life and not a lot changing. I feel like that could be part of it too. Cause that's how I felt when I was down that whole journey with that because I, I i literally had to leave i had to join the military i had to join the military that that's what kind of taught me and got me back to my natural self because when you guys know my situation with me and my whole baby mama and the whole and when all that the court and custody and all that happened that's why i joined the military i didn't join the military because i'm a fucking ooh. Uh, I, I mean, I am America first, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't have no one in my family that's part of the military. I've never wanted, I never wanted to join the military originally growing up, but that was part of the reason I did to like get away and try something new. Cause I felt like I was in, I felt like I, w I was not going anywhere if I didn't get away at that point. So yeah. I feel like that could relate to this. Maybe a little bit, but I don't feel like she's ever found, she ever, like, knew herself to get back to her normal self. I think she just found herself is what's going on. Yeah, but if you're finding yourself, it's coming from a previous place. Yes, it is. It's always coming, there may be new b parts of you, but you, if you're finding yourself, that means you lost part of yourself. That's where the finding is. She Maybe she's creating a new version of her, but if she's finding herself, then she's finding from a previous point, babe. That you, yeah. she's finding herself from may, maybe her childhood. Maybe she remembered when she was all happy at one point as a kid. Or may, like, usually it's that. You, you're talking about her creating a new version of her. But if, you, if you're finding she, yourself, you're the finding some point. Wants to be. Right. That's not like growing different 
first like when but i don't think she's talking about it like that i think I she's talking about it as if she's finding where she was at one point in her life that made her very happy like she was happy with herself and she wants to kind of get back to that of course not being exactly that because life happens life changes and then you create from there but i think you have to still think of some point in your past you can't you're not just gonna fucking just all of a sudden fuck everything about me i'm just a completely everything in my past from the day i was born all the way until the day whatever day i started feeling in this situation now i'm just gonna say fuck all of that and create a new person you you don't do that there's all always glimpse of you the person that she is right that she didn't like, that, but now she's able to like express herself that it's not like she knew herself before okay all right whatever i agree to disagree on that but uh you guys let us know if you more with her or more with me i think we're both kind of saying the same thing i just i'm more uh keen to the vocabulary itself because I get very frustrated when she uses certain words and it does not match the vocabulary that she's trying to fucking use. So I never know what she's talking about. So now I'm more keen to catch those moments. That's what that is, yeah. But but yeah, but no, that one was cool. Thank you, Law yeah, Tate. That's good. I like the message in it too. I love the message. And I'm happy for you as well. Yeah. Well, she hasn't, I don't think she's got there yet. I think, I don't think she's at a point to be happy with her yet. I, th I think she's starting her journey to find herself. She said she found it in the new faith that she has. That's what she said. Well, no, she said, I'm, I found faith, but now she's going on this journey and she's breaking free. So she hasn't fully found, she hasn't found that peace yet. Now she's going on this journey where she's able to finally freely find herself, I think. Which yeah. is different than found herself because what because she still has to take the journey the journey was her life no she st currently still has to take the journey okay i <laughs> she looks at it completely different than i look at it what are you guys saying Lost hey, is there really a right answer on something like this no but you know we're gonna make it into an argument <laughs> no matter what but yeah but i mean it's good because it gets better conversation for it's better dialogue for what we're seeing in front of us. This is what you get. You get arguments. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ross. Yeah, it is a reaction. That's our reaction. And I definitely am more on the right page. She don't know what she's talking about.